Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I send you so much love and light. I hope that you guys are all doing well. Thank you for being here with me today. So these are love readings for those of you in a relationship. This is gonna be an all signs video. I'll have your signs pinned in the comments, also in the description. So feel free to watch for your sun, moon, or rising sign if you're looking for more messages from spirit. Um, so this is for those of you in a relationship. We're gonna take a look at the energy coming in for your love life so how are things going to be between you and your person where what are the experiences the two of you could have what is the energy like around you guys all right i do hope that you enjoy these readings if you do don't forget to give the video a like and if it's your first time here thank you for being here my name is lynn this is passion heart tarot we're going to start out with aries love reading before i begin I want to take a moment to invite the white light to the spirit. Okay, Aries, so your relationship, you and your person. Let's take a look into your love life. So there's like a real sense here of I do not want to be controlled. Don't please don't tell me what I can do. Please don't tell me what kind of money I can spend. When you see these two in the middle there, the Queen of Wands and then that Nine of Pentacles, these are very feminine, independent, strong energies. Some of you could be involved with a Leo. Uh, there could just be cross watchers here watching your reading Aries or maybe your own moon or rising sign is in Leo. These two tens even are coming through. Virgo's energy has now come through. So again, maybe cross watchers, moon or rising. Scorpio is here as well. Lots of signs coming through for you guys. Could be who you're with, cross watchers or your moon or rising signs. So it just seems like something keeps it's the same argument or someone feels like they're really repeating themselves over and over but it's like um something that really needs to be let go of i feel like you guys will even do things out of defiance that's what it, that's what it looks like to me like if your person if you feel like in any way they're trying to take control or take your independence or your freedom away i feel like you guys become very defiant almost and i don't mean for it to sound like you guys are childish or immature but the queen of wands is a very it's like um someone who's very empowered in charge of their own life their own decisions they don't they don't want to be oppressed or restricted they believe it, they have their beliefs and, and they know what they want. So there's something like very strong and empowered that's coming through. And it feels like it's challenged. So some of you, when uh, dealing with your person, may feel like they're trying to put certain restrictions over you. And I think for some of you, maybe that triggers experiences from the past where maybe you were in or in, in a relationship where someone was controlling with you. If there were like, obviously if there were major red flags or like a possessiveness to tell you about, I would tell you about it. I don't pick up on that. I don't see that coming through in your person's energy. I just think they're trying to maybe even get you to spend less money. I, I definitely see with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, some of you overspending or maybe even from your person's perspective, like wasting money on something. And like I said, some of you are you're going to do what you what you want to do and no one is going to control how you spend your money or, or tell you what to do. That's what I can, that's what I can see. But I wonder for others of you, are you, 
Making the right choice when you go to like make this bigger purchase. I only ask that because are you trying to, are you really doing it for yourself or, or is there something that you're trying to keep up with? I say that not to sound insulting, but the nine and 10 of pentacles shows me into materialism. Definitely. So I feel like between you and your person, you could have a discussion, maybe one that you've had time and time again over money and spending too much money or being wasteful. That's what it looks like, being wasteful about something. But then it's, I think that you guys may not, not make it easy on your person because I can see the way that you look at the way they're trying to give advice to you, you don't like that. And you look at that as like, don't try to control me. Stop trying to control me. So it feels like key issues around money and spending money uh, is going to be addressed. But I think it's going to be resolved for the two of you. Because these tens are coming through. And tens are very powerful because it's the energy of... Uh, finding closure. So it's something that keeps going back and forth between you and your person, but ultimately finding common ground between the two of you. That's what it looks like. And I feel like someone here, they're getting advice from spirit about not, not needing to worry about competing or like showing your accomplishments through materialism. Don't worry about like trying to keep up with what anyone else is doing because you are, you have, you've accomplished so much for yourself. You've already accomplished so much for yourself. And I think that what someone here needs to know is the way that their reputation is already what they want for it to be. You're seen as someone that is very classy, someone that's very polished, someone that's very successful, someone that's intelligent, someone that is so independent. You actually have a lot of people that look up to you. So there's messages coming through about not needing to worry about impressing someone through um, spending money excessively because you already have cemented your reputation in the eyes of others. And I can see that, so your reading is showing me issues between you and your person because of overspending. But I feel like what happens is the two of you have a conversation and you really put things out on the table. And after that, because, you know, it's a 10, it's swords, it's the words. The 10 is about finding closure, maybe on something that you've been going back and forth, back and forth. Releasing it, letting it go, and then like really sitting with what the other one is saying and thinking about it. Thinking about taking the other one's advice, thinking about how what they're saying makes a lot of sense. That's what the reading is showing me. So I definitely see um, blockages around money for the two of you because it's like it's, it's about uh, spending, spending too much. For others of you. There's this dynamic of you just not wanting to be controlled by your person. And I will say this, since the reading is general Aries, I wonder if any of you feel like this is reverse for you. If you're the one that feels like your, your person is spending too much money on things that really don't matter, and are you trying to save and, and you feel like they're the one that's spending... If that's the case, I feel like a lot of strategies have come through from spirit because it almost seems like the more this person is either like scolded or told what to do, the more resistant they are. Not that that's okay, but I feel like that's even maybe advice for someone on how to approach the situation around money because the situation around money can be really touchy for couples. 
What I can see happening is the less someone nags at their person, the better results they get. The more they take a step back and kind of let it sink in and think really deeply about it. So I can pick up on a lot of um, energy swirling around money and spending. But for others of you, if that's not an issue for you, I feel like key advice is coming through from spirit about like the if you want your person to see things your way, the less you uh, like nag, quote unquote, or scold them and just maybe say something once and let them think about it, the better the results will be the better the results will be. Because I just pick up on this energy of like, I'm not going to be controlled. I'm not going to be told what to do. And if I feel like I'm met with that energy, um, for whatever reason, I'm kind of doing things to kind of, you know, <laughs> I'm, I'm doing things. I don't want to say to spite my person because I don't see spiteful energy, but it's like, I'm going to do what what I want to do. So maybe even being self-centered in that moment, but there's roots to that. It has to do with the way uh, this person does not want to feel oppressed. And maybe they've gone through an oppressed period in their life. Maybe they had controlling parents. Maybe they had a controlling partner before. Um, so it triggers something within them to automatically want to prove their independence. So I can see where that has roots. It doesn't look like it's malicious or spiteful. So, you know, it's important to understand why this person is doing that. And if there really are issues around money, maybe just have one discussion instead of over and over and over again. Okay, Aries, something to consider. That's what I can see going on. All right, I love you guys so much. Next is Taurus. Taurus, let's take a look into your love life. I can see where someone's ego is really getting the best of them. Sagittarius and Cancer's energy has come through. Is anyone involved with a Sagittarius or uh, a Cancer? It could be maybe cross watchers or your own moon or rising sign, Taurus. This is kind of alarming to see in a couple's reading because it's... Mm, that that knight of wands especially next to someone's ego if any of you are with a person who tends to stray from the connection or is just someone that needs an ego boost all the time i i feel like this person falls kind of susceptible to flirtation to flattery even if you know that you're involved with someone that's not faithful, I feel like there's there's a chance that they could even stray or you may find out that something is going on. I feel like that's for those of you that maybe have had a suspicion about it. This The person that you're involved with, it looks like their ego is combined with them feeling very unsure. That's what it's like. This person that you're dealing with, Taurus, looks like they don't feel sure about your feelings for them, about the connection. It's it's not right and it's not fair because I can see where this person in their mind is justifying their actions because when they look at what their partner is doing they keep focusing on uh, on everything that's lacking with their partner so some of these messages coming through may be a bit heavier for you guys um you may resonate with these energies if you know you've been with someone that has strayed before or been unfaithful before or even if you have suspicions because i'm going to tell you some things that that are a, a bit heavier 
If you know that the person you're with, maybe you met them and they were already with someone else at the time, because this person gives me real player vibes. They do. They give me player vibes. They give me the vibe of someone who kind of takes pride in how many like partners they can have. So like I said, not the easiest thing to hear. The, the problem with this person is their ego is bruised so easily. And I feel like their pride is bruised so easily. I wonder if you feel like you're walking on eggshells with this person all the time and you feel like you don't want to do the wrong thing to kind of mess up or push them away. This there's a lot of emotional blackmail that I feel this person is really good at because what they're doing is either like flirting completely straying from the connection having like a fling like a one night stand there's something that's definitely crossing the line in this energy it's definitely crossing the line. So if you have those suspicions already or you resonate with that energy I feel like your person is up to something. And the messed up thing about it is when I look into their, their, when I look into their energy, their thoughts, their emotions, they feel like it's justified because I try to make a gesture towards you and you turn me down. So you could even have someone who's looking for like a way out of the connection, looking for their out and is probably going to flip things around on you, Taurus, and say, well, you didn't do this for me and you didn't do that for me. So you pushed me to that point. So that's why I had to do this and I had to be this way. That's what's going on with someone. This person looks very shady to me. And then when you see judgment as the overall energy in reverse with the chariot in reverse, if you feel like you and your person are not engaging the way that you normally would, things seem off, whether that's physically, sexually, or just like the dynamic between the two of you, and it has you feeling like you have so many unanswered questions, and maybe even when you try to ask, they shut down, those are such red flags that something is going on. This person of yours is actually very sensitive and very insecure. That's why their ego gets the best of them because when they feel like they've been rejected, they're going to look for the nearest thing to give them a quick ego boost. So that's that, you know, if you've already dealt with them cheating before or doing things that you feel cross the line, I feel like that's, um, they may put you through more of that Taurus and then justify it by turning it back around on you and saying like, uh, that you turned me down or you rejected me. So it's really not fair the way that this person sets the situation up between the two of you, because it feels like you have to walk on eggshells and they, they're really ultimately going to do what they want to do and have everything their way. This person I feel has issues around uh questioning if they're loved questioning if they're lovable so that's why they're so susceptible to the first person that wants to stroke their ego there's definitely something that's crossing the line here so if you just feel like you can't put your finger on it and you feel confused and you feel like they're acting different trust your intuition because this reading is even a confirmation to you that something is going on something is not right i want to look at that nine of wands it's not it's not Right, because for some of you, your person could even do things in front of you to kind of show you, like to teach you a lesson. From their perspective, that's how they're looking at it. They're looking at it like, well, you you refused me or you rejected me or you wanted to turn me down. So I'm going to like flirt with this person right in front of you. That That's what it looks like to me. A way to teach the other one a lesson because their ego is so bruised. So obviously, you know, some of you can resonate with this energy and you know that it's not the healthiest situation, but maybe you try and you give them chance after chance. I just feel like this person is super manipulative. And I'm not saying that from a place of judgment. I can just see, because when you take, when you look at something from the outside, you can see it much more clearly. 
And the, the dynamic that I can pick up on is some of you feel like you walk on eggshells with this person and you don't want to say the wrong thing because you don't want to like push them away or, or make them shut down, but they're going to shut down anyway, especially if they know they're doing something that's wrong or crossing the line. And I can see where the, cause the five of swords is even a spiteful kind of energy. It's the ego. It's spite. It's, um, not thinking about things long term, just wanting to win or get short term satisfaction in that moment, but not thinking about long term consequences. So I feel like for, you know, some of you will resonate with the energy of your person straying, cheating, you know, if you've dealt with that before. But for others of you, I feel like your person's ego looks like it's so bruised that they may, they may do things just to get a reaction out of you. Things that you feel cross the line, like things that you feel cross the line. That's the best way to describe it. And I can see from their outlook on things, they're justified because they, they want you. I, I think they want more of your affection. I think they want more of your attention. But then again, it's not fair how they use that as an excuse. Well, if I'm not getting that, then that justifies me getting it from an outside source. So some of you just might even catch your person talking to someone, catch your person having messaged someone recently. I just know that whatever you catch them doing it feels like it's crossing the line. And for others of them, they are bold enough to cross the line like right in front of your face. And I feel like it's even being very flirtatious with someone. Or like someone is very flirtatious with them and they don't check this person and put them in their place. So it's definitely disrespect. I feel like messages come through like this for someone especially if they feel like they resonate with this energy and they've gone through this cycle before. Because what spirit is showing us here is if you feel like you already go through this, it's more of the same. So then if you, if the prediction is more of the same kind of energy is coming in, that puts you in a position to decide what you want to do and like what you will accept. But I can see where things are so touchy with this person where you may not even see the ways that they blackmail you emotionally or you may because you're so in it. You may not see the ways that they are so manipulative and have a tendency to uh, shift the blame and point the finger at you. It's really not fair what this person is doing. If, if you can, you know, relate to this reading that I can see. And I know they're not the easiest messages, but of course, you guys know I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to tell you what's going on because the intention behind it is to help. Okay, Taurus, I love you so much. That's what I can see going on. Next is Gemini. Gemini, let's take a look into your relationship. Libra's energy is here. Is anyone in a relationship with a Libra? Or maybe there's cross watchers. Or it could be your own moon or rising sign, Gemini. I feel like there's a lot of effort that's being put in to give the other one uh, my undivided attention. Some, some of you could even have your person buy you something that looks rather expensive to me. It's like a big gesture towards you uh, to, to, I think that this person that you're with sometimes uses materialism and gifts and big gestures like that to kind of like show you or to illustrate to you how they feel about you. So the, in, the intention behind it is, is beautiful because with the Empress in reverse, that's like this feeling of I, I need more. I deserve more. Some of you could be in this place where you go through this and you feel like I, I'm not being paid attention to the way that I want to be paid attention to by my person. And I can see that 
even if you don't say it, maybe you've said it before. Maybe you've said it one too many times. But what I can see happening in the remainder of April is like stepping up to the plate and putting in that effort. So I will say this for those of you that maybe this is something newer that you're experiencing and you're starting to feel like you need more from your person, like you just want more acknowledgement for who you are, and maybe the things that you do, what you contribute, you want to feel more like you're in your role of the connection. You may want to feel that way and have them acknowledge that. I would say the best thing to do right now is to voice that to them because you will receive if you voice that to them. Others of you know that you voiced it over and over and over again. And what I can see happening is them finally taking the action that maybe you've wanted them to take because the seven of pentacles in reverse shows that it's not in vain. The time you've invested here is not in vain. The, the seeds that you've planted, you're going to see them blossom. You're going to reap the rewards of the connection. Someone here even gets a proposal um, in the remainder of April. For others of you, it's... um some kind of grand materialistic gesture towards you like like a gift or that that's what it looks like and the intention behind that expensive gesture or gift or maybe them just um taking charge of things money wise is to i think to prove to you like they they tie that to stability that's their way of showing stability, showing that they're here for the long run, showing that they appreciate you, that your efforts are not in vain. So I can see things really turning around for some of you where this person is totally focused on you, the connection, making things as solid and stable as it can be, making sure that you know you are appreciated, making sure that you know you are like they can't, they can't, they need you and making sure that you know that they need you and that they cherish you and appreciate you. So I just can see very quality time, spending quality time with this person. There's something that I feel has kind of um, clicked for someone, clicked logically for them. Their heart's definitely invested, you know, that's without question. But then it's beautiful to see how their logic has become... I think they're getting more in touch with their emotional intelligence. So if you feel like you've been repeating yourself over and over and over about something, trying to get your person to understand and make sense of it logically, I can see a change comes over them. I talk about that because the King of Swords is someone that is like the strong silent type, someone that is very intelligent, feels emotionally intelligent, but then just like taking it all in. So you're going to see your person's serious side. You're going to get their undivided attention. And, and if you're feeling this way as if you need more from them, more respect from them, they're absolutely going to show you. So for some of you, I can see where the dynamic really shifts and you feel like you're in a much more stable and safe connection. So definitely improvements are on the horizon. Okay, Gemini, I love you so much. That's what I can see going on. Next is Cancer. So my beautiful Cancer is in a relationship. Let's see. What is coming in for you guys? Libra and Scorpio's energy is here. I wonder if there's like a Libra Scorpio cusp person maybe that you're involved with. It could be cross watchers watching your reading cancer or your moon or rising signs. It, there's like blocks here. See the eight of wands coming through? That's like a real increase in like stepping up efforts. 
even a flirtatious energy, it's passion, and trying to increase my communication with my person, texting them, calling them, really taking the initiative in pursuing. And it's like, it's, it's really initiating a pursuit. And it comes from a very passionate place. The intentions behind that is th this person just feels this way about you, Cancer. And I can see where they want to come on strong. They do. It's funny because it feels like it's met with a closed door, if that makes sense. It's like I'm trying to send all of this effort towards my person so they know my intentions towards them. Like, put it into action how I feel. It's not just talk. It's about, it's about taking action. It is, um, trying to make plans. And then it just feels like there's so much resistance about letting that in. Some of you see this shift in your person and you're like, is this real? Like for, for some reason, I just pick up on a lot of skepticism. Maybe you just feel like you've uh, gone unacknowledged for so long or maybe even you feel disrespected. And that could be uh, something that you felt for a bit with this person. So... I can see where they're trying to step up and put in the effort and it comes from a sincere place. But for some of you, it just feels like, you know what? I don't think it's going to change anything for me. It feels like it's too little too late. I think that you guys, even though someone is putting in a lot of effort, I think you guys are kind of looking at them and, and not making it easy. And, I, you know, that's a little bit touchy, but I can just see you guys feeling like it's not enough and they have to try harder. You deserve more because what they're doing, it feels like it's not enough to make a real change. So from from when I put myself in your shoes and look at them, there's a skepticism that's there. You know what's funny about this dynamic, though, between you and someone is if you're already suspicious, like, oh, yeah, oh, you're putting it up for how long is it going to last? Because that's what the vibe is like. I will say that the longer this person feels like they're trying and it's like I'm shooting these Cupid's arrows at a closed door. So it's not hitting you. I want it. To, I, I want it to move you and it's not moving you. The more that they feel it's not moving you and you're like, whatever, can't be bothered. I can see where they're, that really bruises their ego. So for some of you, it's funny that when you don't, when you make it kind of harder on this person and you make them try again and step up to the plate, I can see where like their ego really does kick in. So if you're already questioning, like, is it, is it sincere? I feel like it is sincere. You, the two of you are kind of similar in a way, and I don't say that's a past judgment, but this is like a double-edged sword. Because for some of you, I know if you've been feeling disrespected by this person for a bit, and now they're putting in the effort, I know that your ego may get the best of you where... You know, you, you attach like your ego and your dignity together. So it just makes you feel like, no, it's not enough. You want to prove yourself to me. You need to try harder. So it's like ego, but then some of you look at it like, what about my self respect and what about my dignity? So I totally get that. And that's why you may kind of put walls up and block this person's efforts. You don't let it, you don't let it in. And then how they're similar to you is I can see where their efforts are sincere. But if they feel like the effort that they're putting in, it, it like falls on deaf ears or it's not uh, impacting you the way that they wish it would, their ego gets bruised very easily too. So in a sense, I can see where the two of you are very similar. So what, okay, so it's a question for you, Cancer, because if you've been wanting your person to do more and acknowledge more and step up to the plate, when will it actually be enough? I don't say that in a judgmental way. It's a question to you because what I can see happening is them feeling like what they do is not enough. So then that makes them shut down. So if, if you're, if you're testing your person, cause that's what you feel is the best thing out of, uh, dignity and self-respect. 
when do they actually pass your test? Because, it, you know, you'll do what you feel is best for you, but it almost feels like the longer you test this person, uh, the, the more they start to feel like, well, what I'm doing is not enough. And then, you know, no, I guess no one wants to feel like they're begging and this person may start to feel like they're begging. And if they get to that place, they have a big ego and they will shut down. It's about the two of you finding your balance and finding your harmony, you know, like finding a way to get this person to understand how, how and why you feel disrespected. But then also on your end, you hold a lot of power because if, if they're trying to remedy the situation and make things right with you, you hold all the power in deciding like when things are going to be made right. Because it's not because of a lack of effort. I'm not taking their side when I say that. I see the effort that this person is putting in. So when will that be good enough? It's just something to think about because obviously you're in a relationship with this person. I'm sure you want to keep being in a, in a relationship with this person. A relationship that's like calm and harmonious. So I would just say like if, if you're going to test them, how long will that test last? Because some of you watching this know that you and this person are exactly alike in maybe in not the best of ways, especially if you know um, you can go tit for tat because that's what it feels like it could happen in the energy. Okay, my beautiful Cancers, I love you guys so much. That's what I can see going on. And next is Leo. Leo, for those of you in a relationship, let's look into it. so interesting to me because like the cards that are coming out are so full of like love and emotion and even romance but then like oh okay i get it gemini pisces and libra energy has come through is anyone here watching involved with one of those signs or it could be your own moon or rising sign leo or maybe there's cross watchers here watching your reading Clarity, um, clarity, perspective. Things are going to turn around for you if you've been in a place where you feel it hasn't been fair what you've been going through or maybe like what this person you feel has been putting you through. Or I will say if that dynamic comes up, uh, in the remainder of April, it's going to be remedied very quickly. This is like a curveball, this justice in reverse, because that's feeling like um, it's it's not fair. It's not right. I don't deserve that. And I, I can see that if you feel this way in your connection, your person is not going to want you to feel this way. Seeing the lovers come through in the energy uh, shows me what you mean to this person. I think they'd be lost without you. <laughs> I think that they wouldn't know what to do if the two of you were not together. They cherish you. They need you. They want you. They love you. They don't want to be with anyone else. They're not thinking of anyone else. Can't even picture themselves being without you or with anyone else. So I feel like if this person sees that you feel like you're experiencing something that you don't deserve and it's not right and it's not fair... They are going to step up to the plate and, and really profess what they feel for you. Really do things that are romantic. There is so much romance and love between you and this person. And that's why the overall energy is the moon. Because I think that they want to make sure that you can see this being long term. Uh, to make sure that your head is not confused and like that you don't have any kind of worry around you. Your person is going to put in the necessary effort to make you feel like there's no obstacles coming between you and them. Do you see the path on that card is clear and it's open. The moon is about clarity, illuminating the path, showing you that we have a future together. 
And that's done through uh, talking about the future with you, showing you so much love, romantic gestures, being very like cute and cuddly and affectionate. All of that energy is coming through. So with justice in reverse, this could be a prediction for maybe something that you experience and go through where you feel like, like you want more and you need more and it's not fair. Your person will remedy that. But for others of you, I feel like this energy is very current around you. Where maybe you already know that things you feel have been kind of lopsided between you and this person. Well, for the remainder of April, they're really stepping up emotionally and romantically and i think that this per like what they're doing and the, the steps that they're taking and the gestures that they're making are going to make you feel like you're on the right track with them like you are where you belong and that things are, are heading in the right direction between you and this person for those of you that maybe have not been with them so long I feel like this is the time when, uh, you know, towards the end of April is when they'll start talking about plans for the future, long-term and short-term plans. And I think you're going to see this newer connection. Uh, they'll tell you that they love you. That's what I feel. And definitely show you that they love you because they're really going to kick up their romance and their pursuit of you. Even though you're already in a relationship, ship technically and they have you uh they're not taking a single second for granted and this person knows that you know that they, they know that they need to but they also want to put in that effort in those romantic gestures because their heart belongs to you and i'm telling you that especially if this is a newer connection this person is very much in love with you and feels like you are, you are my person. You're, you're who I belong with. You're who I want to be with. You're who I can see myself spending the rest of my life with. So that clarity is not only for you, but it's for them as well. Because for others of you, this person may feel like they've gone through a lot of things in life that have been unfair. And now that they have you in their life, Leo, they're going to live each day to the fullest. They're, they, they cherish that. They're going to show you that they cherish that. Someone here could even feel like you're a reward for everything bad that they've gone through. Things that they had to deal with that like they didn't deserve and that were unfair. Having you in their life or maybe recently come into their life or no matter how long you've been in their life, they look at you in that way. I'm telling you, this person would be lost without you. They wouldn't know what to do without you. So I see um, peace of mind, especially if you haven't had that peace of mind. If you've been feeling like things are unclear or unjust in the connection, you're going to feel very safe and secure. Okay, Leo, that's what I can see going on. I love you guys so much. And next is Virgo. All right, Virgo. So let's take a look into your relationship. Let's see the energy coming in. It's interesting because I see someone coming back. So I wonder if things have been, have you been distant, the two of you? Or for some of you, it's funny that you're watching this because you're in a relationship. Like, did the two of you recently spend time apart? I just think it's interesting the way that I can see this person coming back into your life. And then it's cup after cup after cup. That's like the heart. It's so emotional. So what I can see going on, Virgo, is maybe you bridging the gap between you and your person. Like, so if you're in a, if you're in a relationship with them and you, ha you didn't like officially separate. Do you know what I mean? But maybe the two of you have been distant with each other emotionally or maybe not spending enough time together or maybe even just for some of you, they've been away. 
Um, they've been away and now they're coming back, coming back home. For others of you, it's interesting that you may not like be with this person, but still believe in the relationship and that they are the one for you. If that's the case, I can see this person coming back and making a gesture toward you, a very romantic gesture, telling you that you are my person, the love of my life. I love you. I want you. I need you. Um, and doing something like a gesture towards you to sweep you off of your feet and get back together with you. And for others of you, Virgos, it's, it's just about that energy of maybe the two of you have been distant and the romance is about to step up majorly between you and your person because the eight of cups in reverse shows me, you know, distance because the cups is about what you've built together your feelings that you've invested here um in history but then you see that person walking and turning so for some of you maybe um they could even be they could serve you know be in, be in the service um in the military i should say so they could be coming back and that's why there's like all of this um honeymoon kind of energy between you and them but for others of you, you know, it could just have to do with the dynamic and what's been going on. I feel like this is your person stepping up emotionally so much. The, t the two of cups even shows you how special this bond is to them. Any disputes that have been going on for some of you, those are going to be resolved very easily. The nine of swords shows me where maybe things have been so restless for you in this connection, sleepless nights, tossing and turning. Some of you could, it's funny because you could have separated. You could have gotten into an argument and ended up spending time away from each other. And what I can see happening is this person coming back, they're coming back home and it's sleeping so much better and having peace of mind and just the two of you finding that common ground it's funny because for someone here in your connection, both of you are like, don't, don't apologize. Maybe mutually you both realize that you did something or maybe treated each other in a way or spoke to each other in a way that you shouldn't have. Cause for some of you, it feels like this person comes back in and there's so many things that are unspoken, but you just know, like if, even if they want to offer an apology or you want to offer an apology, someone here, your connection is like, don't, don't apologize. Let's just, let's just move on. Let's just move forward. And I I feel like the two of you will embrace each other with open arms. The energy is so loving. Someone here is even coming back from a business trip. And that's why it feels like it's this honeymoon period. It makes me wonder if uh, they could have been gone for a few months even. And I can see this person coming back home and they're coming back home uh, very successfully. It looks like their trip went very well and they did really good financially, money wise. Cause that's why I feel this King of Pentacles is coming through on someone that's coming back. They're coming back, um, with success. Do you know what I mean? Like they're coming back with, um, money. <laughs> that's the easiest way to put it and it just looks like um if your person if you if you resonate with that energy and your person has been gone for a while and you know they're coming back home maybe that's why you're sleeping so much better because for some of you without them there at night you it could be very uncomfortable for you there's just so much peace that's coming in for you guys there is and i can see a beautiful unbreakable connection that you have with this person and it looks like it's gonna get into this honeymoon kind of phase so your person coming back i feel like they're not coming empty-handed it's it's beautiful gestures that they're making towards you whether it's something that's very um even nostalgic a gift that they're bringing to you it's something that i feel will definitely tug at your heartstrings because of how thoughtful it is for others of you um it could even just be a an expensive gift that this person is bringing to you i just know that when they return it's with a gesture a very meaningful gesture. So for some of you, depending on what, like what the connection is like, um, it's an expensive gift. And for others of you, it's more of like something from the heart, a romantic gesture, but either way, it's from the heart. And there's, um, 
this person just feels like you're irreplaceable. And I feel like that's mutual between the two of you. So it looks like you're getting back together with someone or fixing it. Or if you guys have just been distant, the dynamic changes like a whole 180 and we were so distant and now we're so close. Or for others of you, it's your person coming back home. Okay, that's what I can see going on. I love you so much, Virgo. I hope you enjoyed the reading. And next is Libra. My beautiful Libras, let's see into your relationship, your love life. The remainder of April. This is interesting for a couple. Aquarius's energy is here. Is anyone involved with an Aquarius? It could be uh, cross watchers here for you, Libra, or maybe your own moon or rising signs. It's interesting for a couple because I wonder how long you've been with this person because you may see your person's kind of jealous side come out or you may see like their really masculine side come out where they're like a peacock and they're like puffing up their feathers because your person is looking at you like a trophy and I don't want it to sound shallow. I don't. You know, depending on how long you've been together, that can be very flattering. You're certainly not old news to them. Like your person is looking at you and feeling like you're amazing. So I wonder if you guys have been, have you changed your look recently? Have you been uh, taking, have you been going to the gym? Have you been working on like your outward appearance? Because yes, a lot of it has to do with your, your outward appearance and your physical beauty and the way that your person is looking at you and like, you're all mine. You belong to me. But I don't mean that in like a possessive, I don't mean it in a possessive way. But they are looking at you and like not wanting anyone else to look at you. They are because that, that five of swords shows me someone who's, who's ready to fight for the connection. Who's, who's, I don't, it's just like, um, you guys are attracting so much attention. So you need to know that like you just shine. Your aura is so bright and you have so much energy of attraction around you. So I wouldn't be surprised if when you step out into the world and you're going place to place, you have people that are trying to hit on you, talk to you, interested in you, or you're just turning heads. Your person is definitely aware of all the attention that you're getting. And it's something that makes them proud that you're theirs and then again at the same time it's a huge it's a huge stroke to their ego but then i can see where if there is someone that like comes up to you i think that it will ruffle their feathers so they're looking at you in a very like protective way but then also like you're my trophy and i and yeah i'm proud and and i guess i want to show you off but then i want you all to myself so you know the way that i'm uh telling this energy to you i don't want your person to sound like they're controlling or like um that it comes from a mean-spirited place or like a negative place it's not like that it just seems like some of you have you been working on yourself? Even if that's just inner work and your person feels like your inner beauty is shining through because they cannot take their eyes off of you. They feel like you're the most beautiful thing they've ever seen and laid their eyes on. So it's like, look who I have. Look who I'm with. Look at these energies here. That is to that is a total trophy partner. It's a total trophy partner. And that's how your person is looking at you and feeling. So I think it's really cute, especially if you've been with them for a long time, because that just lets you know that they see you, all of you, they know your worth. They don't take you for granted. And you, you're just as beautiful. I mean, you're just, 
your person is not a fool. Like they know that you can step out into the world and probably get anyone that you want. And I just feel like they're so proud that you chose them. So the ego is at play, but then it's like a funny dynamic of them being proud that you chose them because of how special you, like your share presence, Libra, makes this person feel like they're the luckiest person in the world and like they hit the jackpot. But then I can also see, you know, the, the way that they feel you're mine and you belong to me. And, and I, I'm proud that I have someone that's so amazing and eye catching, but then I don't really want anyone looking at them. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's not going to be anything negative between you and your person. It won't be. I don't think they're going to give you a hard time. I think you're going to be flooded with affection, attention, compliments. The page of wands is coming through. So your person is deaf. They won't be able to keep their hands off of you. And they're definitely going to be very expressive about their feelings for you and how you look and what they think of you and, and what you mean to them. First, it's funny because is this a newer connection? If it's a newer connection, I kind of get that energy because of the way that they're like taking it all in. But for others of you, it the energy remains the same. Even if you've been with your person for years, they're seeing you in such a beautiful light. I'm telling you like how to describe these energies, the star and the nine of cups. It's like a dream come true. It's like a wish come true. And it's being so proud of having a person like you by their side. So it's definitely very, very flattering. They're going to put you first. I can even see if they've made plans. They're going to cancel the plans that they have just to spend time with you. Like I said, they won't be able to keep their hands off of you. It's definitely an increase in things physically and sexually between you and your person. So much to the point where where they might even make you late if you have appointments because they won't let you leave. It's it's very feisty. It's very passionate. It's very uh, centered on the physical and the sexual, the beauty. I mean, that's what it's like. That is what it's like in your love life. And I can just see someone who's very much in their masculine role when it comes to you. So if you're feminine watching this, you're dealing with a masculine person. They're very much like, you're, you're my woman. You know, I don't know how you guys feel about that. I'm just here to read the energies to you. But I mean, that's what I can see going on, Libra. Someone that is very, very proud of you and very proud of you. Okay, that's what's going on in your connections. All right, I love you so much. Next is Scorpio. Scorpio, let's take a look into your love life, your relationship. What is the energy like for the remainder of April? Aries and Sagittarius's energy is here. Is anyone involved with an Aries or a Sagittarius? It could be your own moon or rising sign, Scorpio. Or maybe cross watchers here. That could be it. The King of Wands in reverse as the overall energy. I can see things being repaired between you and this person, especially if you've had a recent argument or if you've just had something that felt like it was disturbing to the connection happen. Maybe even a life altering kind of situation happened between you and your person recently. The good news is it it looks like things are going to be put back together like piece by piece. 
It's going to be fortified, strengthened, and, and rebuilt again. The tower coming in reverse is an interesting energy to see because you're with this person. So some of you recently, maybe something happened between you and them where maybe you took a break from each other or broke up with each other. So this is almost like a prediction for some of you. If you relate to that energy of getting back together with this person and, and putting it back together piece by piece. So it's funny that you're watching a couple's reading because maybe you're in the midst of fixing it and talking it out. Or maybe you just know deep down that you're going to get back together with your person. Or maybe you're just looking for a sign from spirit that you're going to get back together with them. That's what I can see going on. It looks like there's ups and downs. I think a blockage that comes between you and your person is one of you wanting the other one to take more action, like just put in more effort and not talk about it, but actually do it and, and take those steps. So I feel like one thing that can come between you and your person is procrastination or maybe just all talk and not taking action. It also looks like the two of you have like blockages regarding money and spending. It looks like there could be some back and forth about how much to spend, the right things to buy. There's definitely a focus on money and spending between you and your person. And that also feels like maybe it's something that could come between the two of you. So lots of different energies coming through. I think that it'll be important for you and your person to uh, make sure you're on the same page as far as the money that you want to spend on something. Because it feels like one of you is looking at it like it's frivolous and it's too much. And the and there's definitely a disagreement over money. That's what I can see. But things don't have to come to a disagreement and it doesn't have to come between the two of you. I think that the best way to approach it is to hear the other one out um, and maybe take a step back before making that big purchase or spending that kind of money on something. Because it just feels like for whatever reason, your money is tied together. I wonder if any of you here watching this feel like your person like has control over over the money and, and they make you feel like you have to go to them and, and ask them before a certain amount of money can be spent. I can just see where there's like um, issues around spending too much money. So that's something to be aware of over the next, uh, you know, week or so, the remainder of April. Because it feels like it can be talked about and discussed rather than just like having something come to a head and ultimately get get fixed anyway. That's why I said there's like ups and downs in your reading, Scorpio. So messages are coming through about like what could come between you and your person and how to avoid it. I think that one of you here watching this just feels like do you feel like your person treats you like a child? I think it's very important to be careful of that dynamic because you know where there's all of these um, like wanting the other one to take action, controlling like how much money should be spent. And then where I can see this kind of dynamic, the emperor and the queen of cups, it's almost like some of you could date someone that's much older than you, or it's just like the dynamic and the power where maybe you feel like they're in charge of everything and you just kind of have to do, maybe you feel like this person controls everything and you don't have the kind of say that you want. If if you relate to that vibe or you relate to that energy, I can definitely see that be, like being triggered again and coming up to the surface again where maybe some of you feel like you don't have the say that you want and you feel like your person doesn't listen to you. So I feel like in your reading, Scorpio, it's showing you potential blockages difficulties, potential problems, and, and advice coming through on how to address it so it doesn't have to come to a head. 
I can see some things coming to a head though. Because the tower card is here. So that's why I talk about the ups and downs. For some of you, maybe you've already had that moment and you're going to put things back together and maybe discuss all of these things or parts of these things. For others of you, it feels like with some of these issues that I can see, something that could happen in your connection is like a big uh, falling out or an argument. Or maybe even like feeling like I'm, I'm breaking away, I'm rebelling. You know, hence that like father-daughter kind of relationship that some of you may feel like a parent-child-like kind of relationship. There's a lot of rebellious energy that's here. If that happens, I don't feel you'll stay apart long. It feels like the two of you will come back together and try to piece things back together. The Ten of Pentacles in the Tower in reverse, it does show me Oh, uh, you know, if you relate to that energy of feeling like the dynamic is parent and childlike, you just may get good and tired of it. You, you may get good and tired of being told what to do, you know? And if that's the case and you do, you may, um, break up with this person, have a big argument with this person, spend time away from this person, but I can see you guys coming back together. So there's definitely a lot of messages coming through for you, Scorpio. Um, you know, depending on what's going on with you, I feel like your reading is all about telling you, um, about potential problems or blockages or difficulties in the connection. Maybe so someone here watching can see things from another perspective, maybe a perspective that they haven't seen before. Ultimately, though, even if there is a big disturbance in your connection or there's recently been a big disturbance in your connection, I feel the two of you are going to come back together. And um, someone here watching, maybe now they have the courage or just like the words where maybe they didn't have the words before on what they want to say to their person. Because it just feels like there's an off kind of dynamic for some of you in this in the connection where maybe you do feel like you don't have the say or the power that you deserve to have. Because there's something that looks like kind of dominating that emperor over that, that queen of cups. So like I said, maybe some of you just have a big age difference or the dynamic is kind of off in that sense where it's not like we're partners. It's like, um, I don't want to be told what to do. Okay, Scorpio, that's what I can see going on. I love you guys so much. Next is Sagittarius. So your connection, Sagittarius. Let's take a look into your love light. Your energy is here, Sagittarius. I wonder if you're involved with another Sagittarius. It could be your moon or rising signs as well. Well, there's some heavier energies coming through in your reading. Um, so just be aware in case you still want to watch it. Because for some of you, I feel like you and your person could go your separate ways. You could end up feeling, feeling maybe betrayed. Because I know how close the two of you are and how mutually you feel that that there's no one else that's better for you. No one else understands you the way this person understands you. You feel like you're meant to be together and this is just my partner. This is my person. No matter what you call them, whether you call this person your soulmate or your twin flame, it's like you just feeling that they are the one for you, the only one for you. The heavier energies coming through are the three of swords and uh the two of cups because it looks like there's something that could come between you and your person. For some of you, um, with that energy of the three of swords, 
It could even be like news that your person hears, something that's very hurtful to them, something that hurts them, and maybe they kind of shut down and they're not opening up to you in the way that they normally do. And you could want them to open up to you like they always do, but they could have a hard, hard time and like they shut down. For some of you, that's what I can see happening. For others of you though, like the, the heartache, the broken heart being very hurt has something to do with what's going on between the two of you. I want to look into that energy. For some of you, I can see where maybe you just feel like, like what's happening with us? We're not on the same page. We're not in sync with each other. Like we're not understanding each other. For some of you, what's hurting you is the way that maybe your person is progressing and moving forward. And you could wonder like, are they're leaving me in the dust? Like, are they outgrowing me? I, you know what? There's insecurities that comes up with someone's growth. So, you know, it's a, it's a general reading. I'm reading for you, but for some of you, Sagittarius, this could be your own personal growth because this looks like I planted seeds a long time ago and I've been working at something really hard, waiting for it to like come full circle and to pros be become prosperous for me or to bloom for me. And it feels like someone is getting a major return on their investment. But this feels like personal. It feels like things that I've been working at for so long. And finally, I'm put in the spotlight and I'm getting the recognition that I deserve. So this could even be a sign to you, Sagittarius, that your hard work that you've put towards something is going to pay off for you majorly. The only thing that's like really sad about it, it puts it puts a damper on it because it could bring out a lot of insecurities within your person where maybe they feel like, well, you're just forgetting about me. You're leaving me behind. What's going to happen to us? So some of you could even have like really good news that comes your way about an opportunity. But this, but I can see where your person feels like that opportunity is coming between the two of you. There's definitely um, a dynamic that's going on here where one of your success and accomplishments leaves the other one feeling hurt and leaves the other one feeling like maybe you, you're you're like miles ahead of me. You've outgrown me. We're not on the same page anymore, but that's not necessarily true. And I don't say that to gaslight what this person feels. I don't say that, but I, I can just see where something's off in the connection between you and this person, where one of you is achieving long-term goals and being like, really they're achieving like maybe even graduating because the magician do you see where there's everything on the table wands cups pentacles swords so it's like coming into my power mastering something and it, it took me a long time to get to this point but unfortunately it just feels like their partner in the connection feels small, feels unseen, feels overshadowed, feels like I'm, I'm not getting you. You don't get me. I'm, I'm misunderstood. So that's a big part of what's breaking their heart. And, you know, it really does break their heart. Like it's not something to just gloss over with the three of swords. So if, you're in this connection, Sagittarius, and you feel like this is your person. This is my forever person. I feel like they're my soulmate who I'm destined to be with, who I always want to be with. I can't see myself being with anyone else. If you feel that strongly about this person, they feel that way about you. And if you feel that strongly about them, I'm sure that you wouldn't want them to feel like they're just overshadowed or forgotten about. It's very touchy, though. Because why, you know, I know you may want to have your moment, but your moment, so to speak, is affecting your person. Like, I just think they feel left behind. So that's just something for you to think about, depending on the dynamic of the connection and how you feel about this person. 
For others of you, I will say this, and this is, I'm changing, kind of switching it up now because this is for others of you. You may relate to that energy of you've, you're achieving something that took you a long time to achieve and you feel like it's finally my time. It's my moment. Opportunities are in front of me and I'm going to seize these opportunities. Some of you here may feel like, well, I was one person when I started this journey with them and so much has happened that I feel like I'm not that same person anymore. Some of you here watching may feel like, yeah, I, I think I have outgrown the connection. I think we are in two different places. I think we are two different people right now. And that's where that energy of heartache comes in because for some of you, you may realize how much you've outgrown this connection and maybe you put a certain label on it at one point in time, but you know, towards the end or the, as as April presses on, you may start to see things differently. You know, you may start to see for yourself, like, I don't look at this person in a way that I did before. You know, we started out with the same goals. I achieved my goals and I feel like they haven't lived up to their word. They haven't done what they said they were going to do. We were supposed to be achieving things together. And some of you may feel like, that title you gave to this connection, you may not look at that person in the same way. So you may talk to them about this or you just may uh, pull back and separate it and embrace these opportunities that are in front of you. So I definitely switch gears. It's two different messages depending on what's going on with you and how you look at this person that you're with. Because if you look at your bond as that's my forever person, it's unbreakable, nothing is going to come between us no matter how successful I get, then the message to you is like your person is feeling really down. Are you forgetting about them? Don't forget about them, maybe. But for others of you where I switch the energy and look at it from a different direction, you may see like how you've outgrown them and how they're really not keeping up with you. And it may be a hard decision for you to make, but ultimately maybe you get into the mindset of thinking about like, this is no longer working for me. And some of you, maybe you've, you're gearing up to tell them that you feel you guys have grown apart and maybe you want to go your separate ways. That's what I can see going on. So definitely a very deep, reading okay Sagittarius I love you so much that's what I can see going on next is Capricorn all right Capricorn let's take a look into the energy coming in for you and your person Leo's energy is here as well as Aquarius. It could be uh, cross watchers watching your reading, Capricorn, or maybe who you're involved with or your own moon or rising signs. This is a very interesting reading because the overall energy is the star. And there's almost like... I, that's all I can see and I feel like I'm blinded by it. Some of you, I wonder if you have a tendency to kind of cherry pick, cherry pick uh, what you want to see in this connection and maybe with this person. I don't say that um, in an insulting way, but then when you see energies like this coming through in a couple's reading, the, uh, the Seven of Swords and the Page of Cups, you need to know that something is not right. Something is like sneaky going on. So if you, if you've had suspicions and you keep, um, tempering them down, like you keep turning a blind eye, but your intuition is nagging at you that something is going on, or maybe even some of you recently have either parted ways from your person, broke up with your person, or just have been super distant from your person. If that's the case, I see you guys coming back together. That's the thing. The five of pentacles is in reverse. So I wonder if any of you even kick this person out of the home. 
or they've just been gone and now they're coming back. That's what's going on. I know some of you here feel like you don't want to be apart from them and, and it's very hard, especially if you live together and they're no longer there or if you live together and it's just super, super distant, you don't want to feel that loneliness. So I feel like some of you turn a blind eye because you don't want to feel there's things that you just don't want to face, even though you may know deep down that something is not right. And I'm not here to tell you bad news. I'm just here to tell you what spirit is showing me. And if you already have suspicions that something is not right, these are huge red flags. The seven of swords is very manipulative. It's deceptive. It's sneaky. So, you know, you don't even want to see that vibe coming in for your love life. So if you've already had like a sneaking suspicion about something, I feel like this is spirit affirming uh, that for you. The page of cups, you can't take a page of cups seriously. That's someone who they, it's like manipulative because do you see where that cup is like their heart? That's their offer. That's their love. But if you look closely, why is there a fish in that cup? There's something that is very off and it's like, it's like game playing. It's very off. It's very sneaky. There's something that I feel is hidden that could even come out if you choose to see it, if you choose to let yourself see it, or will you continue to just turn a blind eye and see only what you want to see? And I don't mean to sound like I'm rude or frank when I, when I say that, but I feel like this is a reading for those of you that maybe have a history of dealing with someone that you can't trust. Maybe you're trying to trust them. Maybe you're in a spot right now where you don't want to be without them and having them gone makes you feel lonely so that's why you're gonna let them come back i i can see you letting them come back or the two of you coming back together but then there's like this this message coming through for you how much of your power are you going to continue to give away to someone? I know that's not the easiest thing to hear, but the Queen of Wands in reverse shows me that someone is giving their power away in this connection, especially if everything lines up for you and you know that this person has played one too many games with your heart or you know that they've lied to you or they tend to lie or they tend to be like very sneaky and manipulative because what I can see is letting this person come back into the picture, which is funny because you're watching this for couples reading, but it almost looks like they're coming back. So maybe that's just you letting them back into your heart and it, maybe like just embracing them and letting them back in. Um, but there's still something very fishy going on. There's still something that is red flags for me. Still something that does not look right. Although they could just be making you the same old promises that they always make. And, you know, flattering you, telling you how amazing you are, how special you are, how different you are, how beautiful you are. It just seems like that some of you could be caught up in an unhealthy pattern with someone. Or if this is a newer connection and you're getting to know each other and things are not adding up. And maybe you decided to take a break. I can see this person coming back into the picture. And, and moreover, like you letting them back into the picture. That's what's going on. Okay, Capricorn. So trust me, I take no pleasure in telling you something that that might hurt you or hurt your feelings. But of course, I'm never going to lie to you about what the messages are. And if you already feel like you get what what's coming through from spirit, like you resonate with this energy, I just feel like you um, I, I can just see that this person is still being sneaky and, and I, they do not have your best intentions at heart. They don't. This page of cups does not have someone's best intentions at heart. Especially with um like lying like that. So I would say, um, you know, just take from the reading what feels right to you. But I do feel like when it comes to this person, you need to be careful with uh, their heart and their intentions towards you because they do not look trustworthy to me. 
Okay, Capricorn, I love you so much. I hope that the reading was helpful for you. Next is Aquarius. All right, Aquarius, let's get into your reading. So the remainder of April, you and your person, let's look into the energy community. So I think, do, does your person have a hard time trusting Aquarius or is that you? Because with these kinds of energies coming through, there's something very suspicious about it. And the three of cups in reverse lets me know that there's like something that feels like it's crossing the line. So, okay, so... You're in a connection, right, Aquarius? I would be very careful about like being in touch with people from the past. Only if you know your person feels like that's crossing the line. If it's a different dynamic, then it's a different dynamic. But this almost feels like um, I have my eye on you. So um, it seems like they have trust issues. And I don't want to imply that you guys are doing anything that's un untrustworthy. But when you see the page of swords... It's uh, these energies together. It's like I have to I'm keeping my eye on you because I'm suspicious. And, and are you really where you said you were going to be? Were you really with who you said you were going to be with? Is that who you're really talking to on the phone? There's all of these questions and suspicions. So since it's a general reading, you know, I'm, I'm reading it open because I wonder if you feel this way about your person. Are you having a hard time trusting your person? Have you been spying on your person, like going through their phone, going through their stuff? Because that's what a page of swords will do. They will go to that place. Or are you just like suspicious and reading into everything that they say? Like something makes you feel like you can't believe what they say. For others of you, if you feel like you're not doing that, the energy remains the same of like watching, scrutinizing, spying, and being very suspicious that something is going on. The Ten of Pentacles in reverse. I just think that if anyone here is cheating, you are about to get caught. Like that, that's just what it is. If someone is cheating around Aquarius's energy, they get caught. Um, it's going to be known. It's going to be found out because that's what I feel for some of you. The Ten of Pentacles in reverse is like what you've built with this person comes crashing down or is totally disrupted. It seems like there's something definitely going on. So this is a reading for those of you that maybe are suspicious or have questions or maybe whoever is watching this knows that they're, they're doing things that their person would feel is crossing the line because the this is purely that energy the three of cups in reverse is like um cheating definitely but then it also just feels like it's unacceptable it's uh crossing a boundary so you know i can't i can't tell you what to do aquarius and like there's so many things that that or need to be taken into accountability depending on what's going on with you and your person. Because for some of you, do they just have trust issues and you're not doing anything? Do you go through a cycle with them of like having to bear the brunt of what happened to them in the past, especially if they had someone that cheated on them in the past? Because things are definitely, it's very triggering. And there's so many questions about you said that and you said you were hearing with this person, but I feel like you weren't. I don't believe you. I want to look at this uh, three of cups. So that's what I'm saying. Like if you know your person is uncomfortable with you keeping in touch with like exes or people that you've dealt with before, I feel like it's, is it really worth keeping in touch with them? Because it could really like send shock waves through the connection, especially if you've really been building with this person. If you live together, if you've been establishing a life together, it could really turn things upside down. 
So not to scold, but you know, that's what the energy is like. So someone here that can resonate with that has to really think carefully, like, is it worth losing what I'm building with this person now? Is it really worth the sex? Is it really worth that short term pleasure? Because the Ace of Wands is coming through around the Three of Cups. There's like a lot of temptation around your energy, Aquarius, to cheat on someone. I mean, the Ace of Wands is about sex. It's very phallic. But I will say this, like whoever it is that cheats or strays is going to get caught. They're going to get caught and they're going to mess up their whole situation. So whether it's you catching someone, having suspicions and you catch them, or if, you know, if the shoe's on the other foot and someone gets caught, it just feels like it jeopardizes the whole connection. So I feel like there's a lot of warnings coming through to someone like, is it really worth it? Is it worth losing everything? I feel like for some of you, you could already have gone through this. You resonate with this energy. You understand exactly what's going on in this reading. That person is still in the picture. So if you've already gone through this and you know that you caught them cheating, and I, I know they're going to come back to you towards the end of April and tell you how beautiful you are, how unique and independent you are, how there's no person in the world that's like you. I want you to be mine. I'm going to be yours and only yours. I'm going to, I'm going to make it up to you because they're going to come back and, and talk and make those promises. But what I will tell you, Aquarius, is that person is still in the picture. They have not quit that person. They're still having sex with that person. Like that, that's just it. Not to be too frank or like hurt anyone's feelings, but if if you resonate with this energy and you know you've already gone through this that person is still there trust your intuition don't take their word for it if if you feel suspicious and like something is off and you want to keep snooping and, and reading into things then you know looking to find those answers i think you're going to find uh what spirit is showing us here and that that person is still around so there's a lot of messages coming through I want to look at this page of swords. Leo's energy is here, you guys. Anyone dealing with a Leo or maybe cross watchers, your moon or rising sign, two of cups in reverse around the page of swords. You know, that is just such a strong message from spirit about the way that someone in this connection is going to start looking at their person and seeing that it's not really what they thought it was. So I just feel like that spells someone getting caught if they're cheating or fooling around or crossing the line, they are going to get caught because this person I feel is not going to be blinded by the label that they put on the connection or the label that they gave to this person. They're not going to be blinded by that or swayed by that. It's like, okay, I feel like you are the one for me. I feel like we belong together, but I'm also not going to just turn a blind eye. I'm going to be honest with myself. I feel like there's so much potential for someone to get caught cheating or doing something wrong and crossing the line. So for those of you that are watching this and maybe you feel like your person doesn't know anything, if you're doing that, they know and they're going to find out. Something is going to happen where they find out. All right, Aquarius, that's what I can see going on. So obviously not everyone's reading, but for those of you that resonate with the energy, you know, then this reading is for you. And if you are going through something difficult like that, I'm so sorry, because I know that's not the easiest thing to go through. And um, just know that I send you much love and light, okay? Next is Pisces. Last but not least... My beautiful Pisces, let's look in to your relationship 
you and your person, the energy coming in. Leo and Gemini energy is here, Pisces. Are any of you involved with a Leo or a Gemini? It could be cross watchers or maybe your own moon or rising sign. The lovers in reverse with the nine of wands. I think that you and your person may feel like you're kind of out of touch or maybe you feel this way about them, Pisces. Like we're just not on the same page. We're not seeing eye to eye and I feel like I'm left to do everything by myself and handle everything by myself. And it's something that has become like a juggling act, a balancing act, and it's become very difficult. So I feel like that's the kind of dynamic that I can see coming in. Um, some of you could feel like that energy is present around you now, but for others of you, it's, it's like a sign to you from spirit about the way that one of you in the connection feels like you're all alone and just left to take care of everything. But it's like I have to maintain appearances and put a smile on my face an act and put on an act. That's what it feels like. It's an act. So depending on like the dynamic of the connection, why do some of you here feel like you need to perform and put on a, put on a happy face for others around you to see? For some of you, it could even have to do with meddling in-laws or like meddling, uh, family members. And maybe you just want to paint the picture that everything is okay when it's really not okay. It, what what your reading shows me, Pisces, is the way one of you in this connection just, just needs so much more from the other one, needs so much support from the other one, and the way that it just makes them feel like there's a big wall between us that doesn't need to be there. I talk about like saving face because when you see like heavier energies like that, but the sun as the overall energy, especially this two of pentacles, this combination shows me outside and what's going on the outside, but really what's happening on the inside. So the outside world, what we show to those around us in the world, but what's happening in our home or like the smile on my face but what's really happening in my heart when it comes to someone. And I can just see where you guys feel like you need more support. Now, since it's a general reading, it could be a message to you, Pisces, about your person and the way that they need so much more from you. I don't think that they're going to pretend like everything is okay with you. I think what they do is pretend like everything is okay to those that are important to them. Uh, they're, you know... Could, like I said, could be um, mother-in-law, father-in-law, or just people in their life. They want to act like everything is okay when it's really not. So basically, this reading is telling you to take care of each other, you know, for the remainder of April, to be there for one another, especially if you feel like, you know, you love this person, you want to be with this person, you've been with this person, you want this to be long term. Um, it's just showing you the ups and the downs and how maybe the two of you need to uh, protect your relationship a little bit more from outside interferences and moreover to be there for one another and listen to each other. Because really, this is a hard act to do. Look at that energy. The two of pentacles. That's why I talk about like juggling and putting on a show because it's distracting whoever's looking from what's really going on in the background. In the background, those waves are so rocky, like the boats are up and down, but like really all you see is the way that this person maintains balance and makes everything look so easy. So it's like, you know, but in their heart and in their mind, they're struggling feeling very unsupported, feeling overwhelmed, even a lot of headaches that this person uh, could experience and go through. 
what they want is support. What they need is support. So I wouldn't be surprised if when that support comes in or like a romantic gesture comes in towards this person, they're very short tempered, short patient, or they could even like kind of snap and turn the other one down and, and, you know, like get very frustrated and say like, don't you see all this stuff that I have to do? Don't, don't you get what's going on? Like, don't you get it? That's, that's what the vibe is like. So if you're, if you want to be in this connection and the two of you care about each other, I just think what I can see from spirit is like the dynamic and how it's important to, um, say what's going on. First of all, and just try to be there for one another. I know it's really easy for me to just sit here and say that. But that's what that's what it's like. Because for whatever reason, whoever it is that is struggling so much does not want outside influences or outside people outside of the connection to know about it and to see. It's like they want to keep it a secret. They want to save face. Maybe they feel like they have to be perfect all the time, especially if there is a lot of pressure from outside interferences like um, the mother-in-law, father-in-law, people involved in the families. That's what it looks like to me. So your reading is all about the way one of you in this connection feels like you're struggling and needs so much more and is so worried about keeping up appearances. That's what it's about. So, you know, being there for one another and supporting each other. And then maybe to the person who feels like they need to be so perfect all the time to let you know that you don't need to be. Um, I know you may care so much about what others think, but what does that really matter? It, it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. I, I know that I'm supposed to say that to you. I don't know how that makes you feel, but that's what the message is from spirit. The two of you do have a, a beautiful bond. You do. The two of you have been together lifetime after lifetime. So you definitely have deep roots, a history that's here. It just feels like um, it's all about supporting each other uh, for the remainder of April. And moreover, like how someone struggles and how burdensome it feels to not have that support and obviously like if you love this person you want to be with this person you'll want to do what it takes to support them for whoever i'm talking to because it's general so it could be how you feel pisces and what you go through or signs to you from spirit about what's happening with your person All right, that's what I can see. So don't think that it can't be made better because it absolutely can. And I feel in a very easy way, just listening and opening up and talking and like taking the action that, that they need. It can't just be all talk. It has to be like these burdens are on me and I need them lifted. I have too much on my plate. I can't handle all of this. Okay, Pisces, that's what's going on. I love you guys so much. I hope that you enjoyed the reading. And I just want to say thank you for being here. And I'll see you in the next one. All right, you guys. So that is what I have for you. I hope that you enjoyed the readings. I know that some of them have not been the easiest thing to hear, but I just want you guys to know where these messages come from. It is only a place of love and light just intended to help. So just take from the reading what feels right to you. Okay. And just know that it comes from a place of love. I wish you guys all the best in your connections and just want to say thank you again for being over here. If you did enjoy the reading, don't forget to leave a like on the video, subscribe. Thank you guys again for everything. I love you so much and I'll see you in the next one.